On Monday, the Pakistan army opened fire without any reason in the four sectors of Punch, Shahpur, Kerni, Sojian and Krishna Khati. The Indian army responded befittingly. Pakistan army ne jo hai small arms, automatics aur motor ke gole daage hain. Kisi tarike ka jaan maal ka nuksan nahi hua. Five civilians were injured in the firing in Punch. Earlier on Sunday, Pakistani troops indulged in firing and shelling along the line of control in Jammu district. Pakistan on Friday detonated mortar bombs and used heavy machine guns along the line of control in Akhnur, targeting Indian posts and civilian areas. Since the surgical strike in POK, there have already been 10 incidents of ceasefire violations by Pakistan. Local residents are worried about the situation. देखो हम घास काट रहे हैं इस वक्त भी और हमारे गोले बजने से हमारे घास वो जा रहे हैं सामने देख सकते हैं नॉट जस्ट इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पाकिस्तान इज आल्सो इंडल्जिंग इन दीस एंटिक्स ऑन द बॉर्डर इन पंजाब लेट एट नाइट इन गुरदासपुर देयर वाज एन अटेम्प्ट टू इनफिल्ट्रेट फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान देयर वाज फायरिंग एडजसेंट टू द बीएसएफ पोस्ट अलोंग द इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर इन द वीआरस इन गुरदासपुर द बीएसएफ ट्रूप्स चैलेंज द इंट्रूडर्स बाय फायरिंग बैक एंड फोर्स देम टू रिटर्न टू पाकिस्तान After the foiled attempt to infiltrate, the BSF launched a search operation on Monday. Police say that security in the area has been tightened. After the surgical strike, security forces are fully vigilant. Evacuation has been ordered in 1,000 villages in six border districts within 10 kilometers of the international border in Punjab. Security forces are alert for any eventuality on the western border and are ready to rebuff any challenge. With inputs from Sanjeet Khajuria in Jammu and Usha Pawar in Jalandhar, DD News. And our correspondent Sanjeet Khajuria now joins us uh, from Jammu for more updates in the ceasefire violations on ceasefire violations. Uh, Sanjeet, uh, the desperation of Pakistan is in fact extremely uh, visible the way we've seen in the last 48 or perhaps more than that uh, brazen ceasefire violations continue. But what we want to know first up is the latest on ground, especially the civilians, their safety, their safe evacuation and the reactions that you're picking up on those lines. Uh, Sakala, uh, uh, let me first uh, update about the ceasefire violation by Pakistan. At uh, 5 this morning, Pakistan now resorted to uh, heavy shelling and firing uh, in uh, uh, Nushara sector of Rajauri district. At three places, uh, Pakistan opened its guns and it's uh, targeting now uh, civilian areas also. And okay. this fire is being uh, retaliated. Uh, appropriately by the security forces. Now, if we see the uh, punch entire day at three places, yesterday Pakistan uh, violated ceasefire by, and there were heavy shelling in Sovjia sector, in Shapur and Kirni sector. Uh, so six persons were injured in that firing, including five women. They have been shifted to uh, punch hospital. Uh, the problem with the uh, now uh, people is that uh, uh, the Pakistan is now targeting the civilian areas. Though okay. the government right. had asked the people to migrate to safer places, but still, you know, this is the time when uh, harvest season is going on. Right. So most of the people, uh, particularly women, uh, uh, children, and old people, they have evacuated. They have been evacuated to safer places, but the other people, they are living in their villages. They are more worried about their crops at the moment. So uh, this incident uh, yesterday when these uh, six persons were injured, it was all uh, because of that. And there are also reports that in Saujinya town there was heavy shelling in which 11 uh, shops, they caught fire and were uh, partially uh, uh, damaged uh, because of this fire. Sakhar. Right, Sanjeet. If you can also share some details about, uh, as you mentioned, that uh, entire villages have been evacuated. About their safety and what provisions have been made uh, so that... Uh, they can sustain themselves uh, properly and also people who are staying back, uh, many of whom were injured in the uh, ceasefire violations. What arrangements have been particularly made for their security? Uh, see, Shubindu, uh, I'll, I'll tell you about the line of control and international border. As far as international border is concerned, uh, the three districts which are uh, near the international border, Jammu, uh, Kathua and Samba, uh, the situation is uh, normal here and earlier mm -hmm. the uh, district administration they had announced that their all schools will remain closed but yesterday uh, they have taken the decision now the schools on the international border will remain open 
and the people those who have migrated in certain schools in the a little bit in the hinterland uh, these schools will also be opened and there will be separate classes for those students as right. far as international uh, as far as this the line of control is concerned though the district administration has advised uh, all the locals that they should migrate to safer places now right. the schools which are very close to line of control these are uh, these schools are closed but uh, in the hinterland all these schools are open and the people have been again advised that whenever there is firing they should not come out and mm. in right, Punch, particularly and in uh, rajauri also there are certain bunkers also which people uh, they themselves have uh, constructed those bunkers and those are also being cleaned and being used by the people during firing right sanjeev shubendu <laughs> Right, Sanjeet, thank you very much for joining us with those updates. Uh, correspondent uh, Sanjeet Khajuria giving us updates uh, on the fresh uh, ceasefire violations by Pakistan's at the LOC. Hmm.